So I just wanted to get on here right after the 2020 Cotton Bowl between Oklahoma and Florida and give my two cents. This is a perfect example of two teams with two different mindsets going into the game. You know, Oklahoma was out to prove something. They wanted to show the SEC that, hey, we're a team to be reckoned with. Um, you know, don't disrespect us like that Florida player did on the Zoom call uh, a few days ago. And then on the Florida side of the ball, they looked like they were just going through the motions. They looked like they did not care one bit to be there. And you got to really feel bad for Florida fans. You know, Florida fans that wasted their time watching this game tonight and the real unfortunate people that wasted their money going down there expecting to get a, a good game, a hard-fought game, only to watch their team just com <coughs> completely lay in it. Excuse me. But, I mean, it, it was bad, to put it best. Look, if you're Dan Mullen, come this offseason, you need to get rid of Todd Grantham. Like, he's not the answer. I know he's had stints at Cleveland and Houston in the NFL, and he spent some time at Georgia, and he was with you at Mississippi State. And at times, there's been success, but it's been waves of success. There's been highs and lows, nothing consistent. And you can't be consistently good if, you, you're, if your coaching staff is not consistently putting out a good product. And I'm not talking great, I'm just talking good. And this Florida defense was not good this year. I mean, I can't tell you how many missed tackles there were in this game tonight. It was bad. They made that Oklahoma running back, what's his, uh, I wrote his name, Ramonde Stevenson, made him look like a superstar, okay? Spencer Rattler was great, but, you know, Florida just looked unenthused, you know? It sucks for Kyle Trask. I'm sure this is probably his last game, and he's a lot better quarterback than, than, than how he went out tonight. I mean, those three interceptions in the first quarter. You know, two were his fault. One was just kind of an unfortunate play that didn't go his way. I think it was the second one. But, you know, that's a tough break for him. I think he, he's a fighter, man, and, like, it just sucks to see him go out that way. Got got respect for that guy. And, you know, it's not all the Florida players. Some of those guys, you know, played their hearts out. I'm sure they did. But half of them looked like they didn't want to be there. Now, you know, I think a lot of times you – overhype these bowl games and I'm sure if you're a Texas fan or if you're an OU fan you're flying pretty high right now you feel pretty good but we've all seen this before <laughs> so let's not jump to conclusions if I had to give a prediction right now without looking into anything I'd probably say oh use the team to beat you know you've got your quarterback coming back you've got talent you win the recruiting battle year in and year out down there and, and Texas is, is losing some people, though I watched that game the other night and they look like uh, they look like their backup quarterback has some talent. So so we'll see. But I, I'd still favor OU at this point. Now, if you're Florida, I think we're going to learn a lot about Dan Mullen next year because you're not going to have that. You're not going to have a lot of those offensive players. Now, of course you got talent. I mean – you're in one of the best recruiting states there is, if not the best. And so, so you're getting talent in there, but we're going to see how you develop these guys. And we're going to see, for starters, if you're smart enough to realize that <laughs> Todd Grantham's got to go because he's not the answer. If I was Florida, you know, just off the top of my head, maybe, maybe look at Charlie Strong, who's a defensive analyst at Alabama right now. Um, he can coach. We know he can coach defense. He's done it at Florida before. He's a great recruiter, and it's not a new place to him. He's got lots of connections down in Florida. So if I was Florida, man, I'd be going after Charlie Strong. But that's just me. Um, I don't know. And, you know, defense has changed. I will say that. But I just wanted to come on here and, and let you know what I think. You know, congrats to OU. Congrats to Lincoln Riley getting his first bowl win. I know he's had a rough go at it, but – uh, your team was ready to play. And then if you're Florida, you might want to go ahead and sneak into Tuscaloosa and steal that page out of their playbook that talks about finish because you did not finish the season the way you should have. You lost unexplicably to LSU, played your hearts out to Alabama, you came up short, but you completely laid an egg tonight. That's all I got to say. Talk to you guys later.